Gender, race, religion should never factor in. Correct. You are talking about uh, having a development where everybody contributes. Right. Right. Awareness amongst women, that comes mm. first. With that awareness, don't talk about empowerment. Hello Malaysia, hello world. Apa khabar? Welcome to our new look and feel of ECM Talk for 2021 with today's topic, Women Empowerment, How Far Are We? I'm Raju Shahrul, your host. Empowering girls and women are powerful. Today, we know it is the key to economic growth, political stability and social transformation. World leaders, experts and scholars alike are giving their voice to this critical endeavor. A quote from Barack Obama, the 44th President of America, when women succeed, nations are more safe, secure and prosperous. A quote from Kofi Amman, the 7th Secretary General of the United Nations, there's no tool for development more effective than the empowerment of women. From Amatia Sen, Nobel Prize Laureate in Economics, she said, empowering women is key to building a future we want. Astonishingly, the exact opposite is true on the ground. Rather than uplifting and empowering girls and women as the most powerful force for transformation and progress, horrific violence against them every minute, every hour, every day. Every minute, two girls and women are raped in South Africa. Every hour, almost 50 girls and women are raped as a weapon of war in Congo. Every day, more than three women are killed by their male partner in the United States. In fact, more than 100 million girl babies have been killed, aborted and neglected to die simply because they are girls. ACM Talk is truly honoured and privileged to have on this programme Yang Berbahagia Tan Sri Rafida Aziz, the former Minister of International Trade and Industry in Malaysia, to share and tell us more about the topic today. Selamat datang to ECM Talk, Tan Sri. Baik, Alhamdulillah. Thank you, Tan Sri. Thank you for being here. I know this is not your first time to the Tukar campus. It is an honour to have you here again. Tan Sri, uh, the term women empowerment has always been a buzzword among government initiatives, NGO programmes, media, students and activists. The question which lies ahead is, how empowered are women in Malaysia? But first of all, understand the word empowerment, what it means. You know, sometimes it's just a slogan. It's something people use on Women's International Day, Women's Day, right? Kan? Correct. It's symbolic. Lah. Correct, that's right. To me, uh, during my time, when we were actually empowering women, giving them equal rights uh, for equal pay, equal assessment of income tax, and you know, access to opportunities in government and so on, and permanency in government civil service. Those Correct. were the 60s, yeah? Yeah. In early 70s. Mm -hmm. We didn't use the word empowerment. Right. We just went straight to identify what were the shortcomings yeah. within society, yes. within the civil service or within which area, sector, uh, economic or socioeconomic, where women were held back for some reason or other, whether it's uh, de facto or de jure, meaning that the legal uh, circumstances or the prevailing practices or social norms. You see? So Correct. before we talk about empowerment, look at it in the broader context. Yes. Where the women are. You give me those uh, you know, uh, examples of women being killed and so on. That's because the social environment is such. Mm -hmm. Not because women are not empowered. It's because the societal norms yeah. uh, have been for decades, if not for centuries, where they say a priority is for boys because they add on to the human resource in the farms. Uh, they add on to family income, whereas right. girls, they regard as being weak, right. so cannot contribute economically. Right. So better to kill them off <laughs> uh, or mm. get them married off, you know, yeah. things like that. So yes. again, you cannot just talk about women empowerment in isolation from the environment within which women uh, exist. Right. Now, for example, in many countries today, including Malaysia, the earlier we realise that there are certain constraints within the environment that do not allow women to have the right and the authority, which is what empowerment means, yes. to be their best, yes. whether it is socially, economically, uh, whether it is in education, whether it is in the workspace, or even psychologically as yes. a human being. Correct. If the environment does not allow them to bloom, 
or mm. to grow to mm. the best that they can, mm. it would be forever the same scenario. Mm. They will always be uh, overrun, so to speak, right. by men who think they are mature, yeah. or by social norms that have always been suppressing women. Yes. Yeah? So these two must come together. The empowerment right. of the women themselves, meaning that creating awareness amongst them that you have that ability to be the best, right. not just to be dumped to one side or treated as a non-entity in society or second or third class citizen. Yeah? Correct. So awareness amongst women, that comes mm. first. With that awareness, don't talk about empowerment. Right. And secondly, on uh, in parallel, awareness of society that mm. women mm. are equal to, if not better, mm. than anybody else if they are given that right, that authority to be the best they can. Now. Mm. I'll give you an example for it. Uh, women in Malaysia are so lucky because we were aware of what was lacking for women very early on in the 60s, the women right. leaders of those days. Right. And I was very young then, I was included. As the, so we asked the government to change the law, to change the way that things were done in government so that mm. at least in the civil service, working women get their rights, equal mm. pay, equal responsibilities. So. Then we go on to the social sphere mm. to make sure that there is nothing that suppresses women like this happens in most countries, right? Correct. Yeah. Uh, then secondly, the women must continue to be aware mm. of their rights mm. and their responsibilities mm. to have, you know, there's no point having a right, see, a demand, cannot. Yeah. Because it comes to responsibility. It doesn't mean that if you are a, a CEO somewhere that you abandon your family. You yeah. know, you get maids to, to look after your children. Mm. That is abandonment of responsibility. Yes. So again, the question of being a good mother, a good wife, and also a good member of society, wherever you are, a mm. CEO, business person, or whatever. Yes. So this what boils down to awareness. Now, in Malaysia, fortunately, mm. we are seeing more and more women right. uh, that can marry these two. I hate to use the word balance because people don't ask about men. <laughs> you know, you think that men who are rising up there, you know, right at the pinnacle of the career are responsible men, mm. responsible father, responsible father, uh, husbands? Mm. Uh -huh. Think again, right? <laughs> so, women, mm. I do not want a situation where just because they are high up there somewhere, politics or whatever, that they abandon the basic responsibilities mm. as wife, mother and family member. Because Societies are made of families. Society is not made of CEOs. Precisely. Society is not made up of politicians. Yeah. Right? True. See, you must put it in context, this mm. empowerment. So, mm. first of all, mm. uh, we must create and continue to create an environment where women feel they're not suppressed, mm. they're not marginalized. Mm. Secondly, we must put in the structures uh, and the kind of environment that allows women to enhance their capabilities enhance their knowledge, learn anew, learn afresh. Uh, women who've never known what IT is, mm. allow them uh, within uh, community groups, for example, to know what a computer is. Yeah. You know, at least to do WhatsApp. True. And the handphone but guna if you don't... That no, no, you don't maximize it, you know, and yeah. not just to do WhatsApp, download. Yeah. Information. Yes. Not necessarily in English. So many in Malay. No? Yes. So in other words, mm. create environment for women, especially younger ones, mm. right up to the old ones, to realize that within the society there is that potential for them to enhance their capabilities. Right. Because empowerment must come with responsibility, must come with the ability to use that empowerment or use that power, so to speak, yeah. as uh, you know, knowledgeable people, yes. better, you know. But power doesn't always lead to better. Some people, you know, uh, power leads to all kinds of negativities, right? But yes. we want this empowerment in terms mm. of thought process, Correct. in yeah. terms of ability to do good for the country. Mm. Mm. Uh, unfortunately, in our country, we go the way of some European countries or Western countries, 30% mm. quota. Mm. I hate that. Yeah. Uh, you do not count or you do not measure women empowerment by how many percent they are here and there everywhere. Correct. No, Correct. we are not quota fillers. Right. We are not like pillows, you know, you just stuck a kabu and cotton, you know, that's yeah. it. No, yeah. no, 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 I hate that. Yes. So let's stop talking about percentages. Let's mm. talk about the best women anywhere. Yes. And yes. the best women will be first of all the best, best person. Correct. Then she can fit in as a mother, as a wife, as a CEO. Correct. No shortcomings anyway. Right. Mm. And if it's the, the best women number more than 50%, so be it. So be it, yeah. Organization benefit, the country benefit. We're restricted to 30, but some women, they don't think very far. Oh yeah, we must achieve 30%. Mm. 
Hmm. Why? Hmm. What's the magic number 30? Which man actually, uh, you know, come yeah. up with the magic figure 30? I would say get the best. Hmm. More than half, so what? Yeah. Why look at the gender? Look at the competence and capabilities. capabilities you yeah. see, that, yeah. that is something that I would like to... Mm. Well, for, that's a long start lah, mm. to, to emphasize. Because mm. otherwise, uh, the rest of it is uh, of no consequence if you talk empowerment and 30% quota. Yeah. But as far as in Malaysia, Tan Sri, as you were saying, that change is now seen. Yes? Yeah, yeah, yes. We are moving away Correct. from that and, yes. and we are beginning to accept yeah. the, the women uh, into the workforce and, and oh, everywhere else. Oh, no, else. no. Yes. I don't say we begin to accept. Mm. We've been mm. accepting all this while, yeah. except that they were at the lower ranks. Yeah, mm. of the workforce. Mm. As mm. I've told you, uh, mm. for ma for decades, as long as there was a civil service, the, the yeah. women were only temporary. Can you imagine yeah. you graduate together with the with the men, with the, men yeah. on the same day, mm. you get your degree, mm. you get absorbed in the civil service as a permanent status person. Mm. I get into the civil service on the same day as a temporary worker, without mm. all the benefits. Mm. How can so we fought for it? Yeah. I was one of them mm. in the in the sixties. Yes, yeah, yes. and alhamdulillah. We got now equal pay for women. There's no such thing as you men get less pay. Mm. You know, same degree, same everything. Mm. So we have to change this mindset. Correct. And Correct. so that people change the rules as we go along. Correct. Tan Sri, uh, perhaps you can share with us your most empowering moment during your years of experience. Oh, no, no. I, I don't believe in empowering moments. You know, like, <laughs> what is your sweetest memory? I mean, I'll be 78 this year, surely. The moments are <laughs> countless, right? But right. it's good to know that as I live in life, yeah, as mm. I go on in life, uh, there is a process whereby mm. more and more people uh, amongst mm. the women, mm. especially, and the men. Mm. You cannot empower women with the men end up being uh, open-minded. Right. You right. have uh, all these matrix messages, messages, women, or whatever you want to call them, lah. Like, you know, for <laughs> me, I just call them. You know what? Uh, never yes, mind. Yes, yes, <laughs> but uh, I'm just saying. That if, if men continue to think they are superior mm. to me, women, mm. you will never get by. But mm. Malaysian men, by and large, I say by and large because there will be some of this, yeah, mm. uh, do accept women. Mm. But we mustn't e be egoistic. I mean, we mustn't make demands. Mm. Nobody likes for a woman to say, I demand my right. Correct. Yeah, but if you're not capable, exactly. Yeah. You're not fit to sit on the board for the sake of God, just yeah. because your gender. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're not fit to be promoted. Why? Mm. You demand. There are other women who can be, you see? Mm. Mm. Uh, that's my point because yeah. uh, you have to add value mm. wherever you are. Mm. Uh, mm. Even as a wife, as a mother, you must add value. Mm. Correct? My Correct. Nanya in bringing up your children, mm -hmm. in creating a home environment for your husband so that yes. he can be productive at work. Yes. Tak risau, tak apa kan? Correct. So, mm. uh, we, we must understand that as time goes on, young women of today, they understand that they can go as far as they can. Mm. But I have to keep reminding them, please make sure that you are also empowered as a wife, as a mother, as a family member, mm. so that mm. your life as a whole mm. uh, is more uh, apa namanya, orderly. Yes. I, I don't want to have a woman uh, highest level in her career as CEO, blah, 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 but at home it's all in shambles. Yeah. Children are not doing well in school, you know, husband not get attended you know, because I am the CEO. You're not a CEO at home. Right. No, no, seriously. Yeah. We're dealing with humans, you know, we're dealing with robots. Yeah. If you yeah. have this arrogant attitude, I am the CEO at home, yeah. uh, what happens to the children? Right. Right, right, yeah. Right. Even if you are CEO in your office, it doesn't mean that you're the boss. Mm. You're just head of a team. Yes, yes. People yes. don't have to look up to you. Yes. You are actually on par. It's just that any organization will have to have a lead, like a boat, like a ship. Mm. You must have a captain, right? right. Otherwise, the ship will go straight. So, yes. don't think too highly of yourself, even if you are the boss. Yes, yes. You're yes. just a boss of a team. Right. So, you have to raise the dignity of the team. Mm. You have to mm. raise as a woman leader, uh, raise. Uh, the status of women all over exactly. and the men too who serve with you so that people don't look at you as a woman. Correct. Uh, yes. I would like to banish that, you know. Right. Never mm. look at me as a woman. My mm. gender is immaterial. Mm. What's mm. material is my added value. Mm. That should be the case. That's how I measure myself. Right. If right. I don't add value, don't take me. Right, right. Malu saya. Right. It's embarrassing, you know. Yes. People yes. take you because you're a woman. It's embarrassing. Yeah. You can't add value. You, in fact, detract 
Um, and just to meet a quota. Just to meet a quota, yes. especially, you yes, know. Yeah. So women of today, I think, are beginning to realize, realize that. that yeah. They just don't want to be picked because they're women. Right. They mm. rather not have it. Right. You know, that right. pose or whatever. Because it's embarrassing, isn't it? Yes. Whereas yes. the men, they don't, they don't say, I pay him because of a man. Mm. Because he's good. Yes. So we should be evaluated that way too. Yeah, right. Now, on that note, uh, Tan Sri, uh, we in Islam, we believe that it has always been the men you know, no, is to be the no, man of no, the house no, and kita that the ladies is supposed to be, uh, you know. Uh, 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 what, I don't what, believe that. No, uh, Islam that, never uh, put yeah. women, uh, you yeah. know, under somebody's heel or whatever. No, 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 right, no, no. Right, we, right. Were, we were ranked equal. Okay. It's just that in the practice of daily life, we right. should know. I mean, if I, my late husband, I had to boss him around. No, no person like to be bossed around. Neither would I like to be bossed around by any person. Right. right. Even though my husband. So, it's a question of sharing of responsibilities. Right. Remember, my first sentence was yes. empowerment with responsibility. responsibility yes. So, once you know uh, your areas of responsibility as a wife, as a mother, as a CEO, as a banker or, or politician, whatever, and you're able to devote energy almost equally to all so that nothing is amiss in your life, uh, then you are empowered. Right. What's right, the right. point of, you know, focusing everything in politics and then suddenly you find that your home is a wreck? Yeah. There's yeah. no satisfaction. Yes. You're not adding value. Mm. You're talking mm. about educating young generation. Your children are failing all over. Yes, that's true. Empowerment, it's, it's a complex issue. Of course. Country. Now, it requires the initiatives of policy experts, administratives, academics, legislators, uh, and support from the rakyat at large. Where are we lacking? I tell you, uh, why are you bringing mm. in all this extraneous matter? Mm. Empowerment is selfless. When you empower yourself, it means that you do a lot of thinking, mm. you know, mm. uh, about your responsibility, your mm. roles, mm. if you choose to marry and have children. Mm -hmm. uh, don't just do that, you know, I want mm. to be CEO as well. Mm. You have to have sit back and say, okay, mm. uh, what do I do? How mm. do I balance my time, mm. share my time? Because mm. we have limited energy, right? mm. limited time. We have to sing quietly. Mm. Of course, don't follow your friends. They are different. Right. Some mm. couldn't care less what the husband does. Mm. Or like the husband couldn't care less what the wife does yeah. Or couldn't care less what the children do yeah. So you have to think for yourself What's best in your life mm. Certainly the best thing is a good measure of everything Yes. So mm. that nobody feels deprived As a result of you wanting your ambition You know, right. I want mm. to feel it is quota 30% That's the most uh, rubbishy thing right. I can think of So, But anyway, you have to reflect Every woman will have to reflect Like every man too Correct. Reflect mm. Uh, if you have three roles to assume, not to play, eh, to assume, <laughs> yeah, a mother, wife, uh, a mother, uh, and uh, a family member, and outside life, mm. then you have to re reflect quietly. Mm. Where we, Because you're young, at that time you're married about 20 something, right? Yes. Reflect. Where will you go from here? How much can you sacrifice a bit of this, a bit of that? There mm. will be sacrifices. Right. For as long as the sacrifices are not negative, you know what mm. I mean? It is mm. within the limits of tolerance, mm. which means that the children won't be unhappy if you don't attend uh, out of 10 functions in a year, don't attend two. Right? right? They don't mm. mind because they know uh, mother is occupied doing something. But yeah. if you don't attend any of the school mm. functions, the children will say, my parents don't love me. They don't care. They don't care, yeah. School mm. day, sports yeah. day, you know. Yeah. You, so, maknanya, mm. that's the kind of balance I'm talking about. Exactly. And yeah. of course, if you have meetings, if there's a child's birthday that day, which is more important? Mm. The birthday. Mm. Because the child's birthday is only once a year. That meeting can postpone to tomorrow. Yeah. So, just because you're a chief or a CEO or whatever, a politician, mm. You can always adjust the schedule. So that's why time management is so important in mm. your life. Mm. Mm. Uh, where you slot everything that's important to you, that's priority to you, mm. uh, harmoniously. Mm. It can be done. I've done it. Mm. Mm. You know, but mm. not perfect harmony lah, but mm. in the sense that it will be harmonious if you take the trouble to do a schedule. It's time management. Correct. Correct. Without time management, don't talk. If Correct. you have to accept every stupid political invitation around you, uh, you have no time for anything, even for yourself. Correct. 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 Now, how do you see the men in Malaysia now accepting to women? Uh, uh, I mean, trying to be on par with them or even above them, Tan Sri. You see, you are talking like the chauvinistic men. <laughs> There's no question a man no, being on tapping, par. No, 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 no. There's no question of men thinking they're on par, women superior. The moment you start thinking like that, you're not empowering yourself too, as a man. So it takes two lah. 
basically no, it yes. takes everybody yeah. to accept this because right. you're part of society right if you believe in the norm that in mm. any organization or in society the best is the what you should take right. then it doesn't matter like if the best is a woman mm. why should mm. you say why take her it's a woman mm. you see mm. that's what i said environment Mm. And why do you think you have those killings? Because they're still chauvinistic men or mm. sadistic men who mm. think women are useless. So mm. it's okay to kill them. Mm. It's okay mm. to kill young girls because mm. probably inside them they think they're rivals. Mm. When in fact mm. they're partners in mm. development. Mm. Mm. And once men accept that women are actually partners in development mm. in every sphere, mm. there will be that added value from both sides. Mm. There will be no harmony, uh, acrimonious uh, relationship at the office, you know, mm. or oh, the bitchy woman, <laughs> or that, that, you know, that mm. kind, that kind yeah. of talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's always team that don't recognize your gender. Now, yeah. we have to come to that stage. Mm. For me, I've long never looked at people as men or women. I mean, mm. my by nature. Because mm. to me, if you're good, you're good. You know, good. Sorry lah. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, cantula. Yeah. Like me lah. I would like people to regard me. When mm. she's, I'm good. I'm good. If I'm not good. Tell me. Yeah. So that I can improve myself. Right. But yeah. not because I'm a woman. You know. Right. Ah, uh, mm. because my inherent characteristics. So yes. Let's forget the gender. So if we take the gender out of the equation, then we are not having the discussion in the mm. next uh, year or so. <laughs> right, right, right. Always, we continue with the gender, lah. Right, right. Gender, race, religion should never factor in. Correct. You are talking about uh, having a development where everybody contributes. Right, right. Tansri, you, you, you are the chairperson of Asia X. Yeah. Where are women in this organization? Oh my God, mm. we have so many women. Mm. Many are pilots, mm. engineers, mm. first officers. Mm. Uh, uh, I must say that many of those heading departments. Right. Uh, uh, women, women, but we don't look at them as women. Mm. They happen to be women. Mm, mm, they happen mm. to be women. Mm. You know, I mean, uh, if you take the gender of the equation, it doesn't matter mm, 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 because they mm. contribute uh, good, you know, uh, uh, value yeah. add there. Mm, mm, so uh, the Asia X, particularly, um, mm. no, I don't. Mm, if it's mm. bad. It's bad. The person is no good, no good. I didn't say it's a man or a woman. Again, not talking about the gender. No, yeah. Yeah. no, no gender, no race, no religion. Right. Because right. this country can afford it. Mm. Any organization cannot afford it because mm. once we start talking in terms of gender, race, religion, yeah, because people do tend from gender they go to race, but to yes. race, religion. Yes. yes. This is the only thing that will make this country move backwards, right. slide backwards. Right. Yeah. And then you wonder why. That's because very narrow-minded people, close-minded people, mm. choose to factor in race, religion, and gender in everything they do. Mm. As mm. I've said much earlier, those days, many years ago, the best we had a very good gymnast, right? right. Top gymnast. Yes. Some idiotic men were looking at her costume. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, Can you yes. imagine? Yeah. Just because the man is per- that particular person is perverted enough. <laughs> to be looking at her costume, the rest of us were looking at her moves, you know, yeah, her gymnastic yeah. moves. So, so agile, can beat the, the top-notch gymnast anywhere. Yeah. He's looking at her costume, you see? Mm. Do we follow him, yeah. perverted mind, or do we look at the rest of us who appreciate uh, a top gymnast or a right. top swimmer? Right, right, right. You see, things like that. Yes. But some perverted men will look at the costume, look <laughs> at the swimsuit, as though that they are such fragile um, iman, you know. I don't know what to say iman in English, but mm. meaning that even the hair of the woman enough to rile them up, you know, to make them go into a big half. <laughs> Why? Yes, yes, yes. Please yes. empower yourselves, men. This men empower yourself, meaning that see things objectively Correct. and in the positive sense. Yes, yes. Atansi, uh what next for Malaysia with women empowerment? No, there is no much. What next? You know, this is a. You feel that we have achieved no, that? No, 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 no. You cannot say that because we are moving from one generation to another. To the other, yeah. What we'd like to see is that what people of my generation have created mm-hmm. as a fundamentals yeah. in terms of environment to give the young ones that opportunity to empower themselves, mm-hmm. to, to be more educated, mm-hmm. to get the right skills. Mm-hmm. Uh, and to be able to have the right knowledge. Mm. You must remember the world outside is changing very right. rapidly. Right. So what <coughs> was the environment before is no longer the same. Right. Part of it may be the same, but mm. the bigger environment has changed because IT is the main driver of growth. Yeah. 
yeah. a whole spectrum of ICT, for example. And today, uh, you have so many things like digitization yes. you know, that is never thought of during my time. Yeah. So what we like to see is that while we have planted that uh, impetus amongst the young girls of today to want to be their best, mm. we would make, want to make sure that the environment uh, for example, access to the right kind of education, mm -hmm. access to the right kind of skills, mm -hmm. access to the right kind of uh, channels for uh, empowering, mm -hmm. as I say ICT, yes. continue to be made available. Yes. And this can only be done in the school, in the workplace, yes. and even to some extent in the home. Yes. So for as long as that supporting environment is there, uh, I have no worry. Yeah. Because uh, that meaning that there is no obstacle put in the in the in front of them. Mm. But my worry is whether the women are ready. Mm. Uh, whether mm. ICT means WhatsApp, TikTok, or <laughs> you know, whatever, mm. lah. Yeah. Uh, social media. Yeah. Whereas to me, mm. I am hardly on social media. I'm not very sociable, except mm. for my ex friends, and that too, we don't chat, you know. Right. For me, use ICT positively to empower yourselves, you know, get knowledge, download information. Mm. You know, nobody true, has true. information. Come on, I don't know many things in my fingertips. Right. You talk to me about the latest ne trade negotiations. Or, I mean, come on, how yeah. do I know? So yeah. I've got to download yeah. to see the status of whatever it is, you know, with the, within China and US because it's going to pay, pay us, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Things like that. So mm -hmm. women mm -hmm. uh, must then use these new channels for enhancement of knowledge, like the whole spectrum of ICT, beyond social media. Right. Uh, this is my worry. Mm. Because mm. if you confine yourself to social media, you will not empower yourself. Correct. Correct. But if you use it as mm. a tool for uh, gaining information, knowledge, and using the skills mm. uh, through, through that knowledge to enhance yourself in whatever work sphere you are, mm. uh, then I'm, I'm very confident. Mm. The women of today and tomorrow, the young ones, mm. will indeed be the best women that this country will have in any sphere, whether it's private sector, whether it is government, politics and all that. Right. They are not, you know, just there like uh, warming their toes, you know, mm. which we don't want. Lah. Right. Or 30% quota for that matter. <laughs> all right. So in other words, topic on this women empowerment should not be even discussed anymore. Lah. Uh, well, uh, uh, you cannot it? you cannot retract, uh, like that. Uh, but we yeah. have to emphasize mm. the word empowerment, what it means. Mm. It's not about giving you power, because power to a corrupt person is to make more money illegally. <laughs> uh, power given to somebody who is really a rogue, it's like giving you know more beef to the tiger, more meat to the tiger, ready to pounce. Yes. So very dangerous, you know, it's empowerment. So that's yes. why I said, understand what it means. What it means, yes. It's yes. just, to me, empowerment means be able to be the best that I can. Yeah. That's what empowerment yeah. means. Yeah. I remember going to South Africa many, many decades ago. Right. Yeah. Where the women in the seminar were talking about empowerment. Everybody was empowerment. Mm. I said, excuse me, I don't understand the word. I didn't say that. I don't mm. understand the word empowerment because in Malaysia at that time, yeah. we don't use the word empowerment. Yes. We just simply identify. How can a woman do her best when the rules are not in her favor? Correct. When the law is not in her favor? Correct. When there is no training, no access to skills and mm. so on. Mm. You see, they were just using the word empowerment as a clarion call. Mm. But nobody mm. is providing the environment to mm. make them really empower. You know what I mean? True. Because it was True. a fashion. Empowerment. You yeah. see? It's like burning the bra lot of those days. When right. equality, you don't have to burn your bra. Yes. Underwear to be equal. <laughs> equal is here. Correct. Competence. You Correct. See? So mm. you have to tell these young women of today yes. what empowerment really means. Yes. It's not going around shouting and clenching your face. Mm. It's quietly acquiring that confidence because you have that knowledge. Yes, that capability. The capabilities and added mm. value. Yes. So that wherever you are, people accept you. Right? Because you're a woman. Yeah. Because you're able to add value to the organization. Yes. Oh yeah. She's got all the credentials. You may not you see, not necessarily paper, you know? Yeah. Experience. Correct. Uh, and all that. So mm. that's what I mean by empowerment. It's empowerment okay. of your mind. Yes, yes. Tansri, what would be your advice to our graduates out there that will be joining the working world soon? Should they still be intimidated or with this workplace discrimination or gender bias issues? Uh, I don't think there should be any discrimination now. Right. People are beginning to realize that they pick the best. Eh? Okay. So, kalau ada tu, it is really an aberration. 
right. some male chauvinist pigs, uh, MCPs lah. MCPs. Ada, you know, still think that we are. But frankly, in Malaysia, I don't think so now. Yes, yes. Because people are very aware. Men yes. or women is immaterial. Right. They want to pick the best. So there's no need for for any apprehension. The right. only apprehension is whether you yourself, whether you're a man or woman, does not matter. You yourself as a graduate. It's only it's only depending on your paper qualification. You right. think that can get you by even in your first class. Yes. Or whether in between times you have learned how to uh, uh, operate a computer. Correct. How Correct. to operate some of these systems, uh, upskilling, or whether in the meantime after graduation while looking for a job you have actually attended some classes mm. uh, that adds value on to your to your mm. basic degree. Mm. If every uh, other of your friend, man or woman, have done that, you yes. haven't. You have every reason to be apprehensive, apprehensive, lah. Right? Exactly. Because you just sat pretty, went for a break, went for mm. holiday, kan? Yeah. While lain semua uh, learn a new. Yeah. yeah. Even at my age, so many things to learn. My goodness, gracious yeah. me. Yes. Yes. Because yes. I'm lecturing to students, you know, now mm, still. Mm, mm. So meaning that learning is a lifelong process. Yes. So for all those graduates. Don't think that having got this nice paper degree that shows first class, second, upper, what, that's your passport. No. No. Your no. character, your personality, Precisely. your general knowledge yeah. beyond that limited course mm. that you have attended. Mm. Mm. My goodness, you know, when you do interviews with some graduates, it's very disappointing. Mm. They don't know anything beyond their course studies. Mm. Mm. You know, it's sad. Mm. And of course, there are many. Who do? But I'm just saying, you get one. Mm. They do give a bad impression of the cohort, right? You're right. interviewing. Right. So yeah. it's so refreshing if you find uh, two or three that really stand out. Right. Not because they're ex- excellent, but because they stand out from the norm. You know, of right. those. Uh, I've got a degree now. Right. No, mm. a degree is no longer a passport. Yes. But it's good to show that you've gone mm. through a basic course. Yeah. Yeah. But you have to have more than just a degree. Because as I've said, the, uh, the I, uh, ICT in all its broader spectrum is providing more knowledge now mm. than what you did in your coursework. Correct, correct. I mean, what's the point of doing business management if you are not uh, into understanding what ICT mm. is all about? You mm. know, mm. all the digi- prototyping, uh, uh, you know, digitalization, blah, mm. so many. I mean, I can't even keep up, so to speak, in yes. my age, but. Suffice to say that the world has changed so much yes. that everything in the factory is completely a different thing from 1980s and 1990s or even the year 2000. Right. So if you don't keep up with that and you have a business administration, yes. your business admin is theory. Yes. You go to the factory, you, you, you may not even understand what they're doing right. because the supply chain, uh, especially now with the environment, yeah. post-COVID, yeah. or now COVID and post-COVID, The whole structure of business has changed globally. You're right. Your value change, uh, chains are different, and all those service providers along the line have changed the modes You're of right. delivery, sourcing. Yeah. So in other words, you have now to do a rethink. Mm. Even people in business management, we have to rethink. You know, it's not business like before. Correct. Correct. Even yeah. before me, before before 2019. Yes. Yes. Uh, see how much radical changes have happened. Yeah. And if you just want to go and tout your degree, uh, you won't be taken. Right, right, People right. are going to question you. Okay, what's the latest in mm. prototyping? Mm, mm, mm. You know things like yeah, that. It's correct. a very leading question. Yes. But it triggers uh, the extent to which you know about what's happening around you. Correct, correct. Thank you, Tansi Rafida Aziz, for sharing your thoughts and ideas on this topic. So how do we empower girls and women? And what exactly is women's empowerment? Empowerment is a process. Though the process, an individual becomes an agent of change. More simply put, it's a can-do factor going from I can't to I can. Foremost, it is a call to action to support girls and young women in self-actualizing their inner power, empower, to truly leapfrog women's empowerment. The next generation of empowered women leaders and chain makers will transform our world. Once again, thank you very much, Tansri, for being on our show, and we look forward to see you again soon. Isimians, please don't forget to like, 
share and subscribe to Edu Channel Malaysia. Learning curve is a never ending journey. Until we meet again, stay safe and healthy everyone. Jumpa lagi.